Okay. Hey everyone, hope you are doing exceptionally well today. Just got a quick Digital Cynics Friday news story for you. HP has finally decided to throw its hat in the VR gaming space with its newly unveiled Reverb G2 headset. On March 23rd, HP released a teaser trailer for their new headset, only giving us a glimpse of the headset and revealing that it was being developed in cooperation with Microsoft and Valve. And now HP has officially shown off their headset to the public along with the newly designed controller. And here's everything that we know so far. For starters, this headset's going to be a Windows Mixed Reality headset that is compatible with Steam VR. It has an apparent FOV of 114 degrees and will be keeping the same resolution as the previous reverb of 2160 by 2160 with a refresh rate of 90 Hz. It will include a physical IPD switch with newly designed lenses from Valve along with attached headphone-like near-field speakers. Now I'm not entirely sure if Valve helped design the speakers for this headset or not, but it wouldn't surprise me since they are so close in comparison to that of the Index, at least in appearance anyway. The headset will contain four cameras, and according to HP, the inside-out tracking will be improved upon by about 1.4 times that of the previous model. And at about 1.2 pounds, it's slightly heavier than the previous reverb, but it does make up for it with an improved headband design, added padding, and a new hinge design allowing for the player to flip the headset 90 degrees up whenever they need to take a break. The controllers also seem to have gotten an upgrade as well. It has that familiar mixed reality look of the controller with slightly improved ergonomics as well as a button layout that is closer resembling to that of the Quest or the Rift. But I think the most exciting detail about this headset is the fact that it is priced at $599. It seems that this headset's going to to try and hit a middle ground for those who might not want the expense or the bulk that comes with the Valve Index, but also want something that delivers just a bit more than that of the Quest or the Rift S. It's hard to say how this headset will perform compared to the competition, but hopefully it is a good headset because the more quality headsets we get to the market, the more that other companies compete and try to innovate, and it's just, at the end of the day, better for VR enthusiasts. Personally, I'm very excited for this and I can't wait to see how this thing turns out. But I would love to hear in the comments down below what you all think about this headset. Are you excited for it? Do you think it's dumb? Do you think that the 599 is a good price point? And what are your thoughts on the decision for tracking? Do you think that they should have gone with the more index-like lighthouse system? Or do you like the fact that they're going with the inside-out tracking? Any and all thoughts, I would love to hear in the comments down below. Also, I just want to give a quick shout out to every one of you who has subscribed to the channel so far. We are almost at 500 subscribers, the halfway point to hitting our big goal of 1,000. Once we hit that 500 mark, we will be doing a giveaway similar to that of what we did on the 100 subscriber mark. We're not entirely sure what we're going to be doing for the giveaway just yet, but we will be doing something once we hit that threshold. But that about does it for that quick news story, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you again so much for checking out the video and checking out the channel. If you did like this video, please do make sure to hit a thumbs up on that because it is the best way that you can help a small channel like us get our videos seen through the YouTube algorithm. If you like this video and want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell icon and stay up to date on everything that we are doing. We do videos every Monday and Friday as well as live stream gameplay on Wednesday nights, usually around 9 p.m. Central Time. Feel free to hit us up or see any of the behind the scenes stuff we're doing on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. But yeah, that's enough rambling out of me, everybody. Thank you again so much for watching this video and checking out the channel. My name is Blake. This has been a Digital Cynic Experience and for all things tech, games, movies, and other nerdy things in between, be sure to subscribe to Digital Cynics. Have a good one, everyone. Everyone. We'll see you Monday.